Just moments after taking off from a launch pad in South Texas, SpaceX's Starship rocket experienced a catastrophic explosion. While labeling this event as success may seem counterintuitive, it provided valuable insights into the private spaceflight industry's quest for future achievements. So why do we consider it successful despite such a dramatic failure? Well, my friends, welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, your source for the latest news on Elon Musk and his extraordinary ventures, including space exploration, cutting-edge science, and groundbreaking technology. But before we delve into the details, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to stay updated with our fantastic videos. At 9.33 a.m. Eastern Time, Starship began its ascent, engulfing the super-heavy booster's engines in a massive cloud of fire, smoke, and dust. A critical phase of the rocket's launch occurred roughly a minute after it passed through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Unfortunately, shortly after that, the rocket started descending and ultimately exploded in a fiery burst over the Gulf of Mexico. Despite the mission's unfortunate outcome, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson congratulated SpaceX. He recognized that throughout history, every great achievement has involved taking calculated risks, as these risks often lead to significant rewards. Mr. Nelson shared his thoughts on Twitter, acknowledging the space agency's reliance on SpaceX to develop a modified version of Starship that will transport two astronauts during the Armitus 3 mission taking them from lunar orbit to the moon's surface. This highly anticipated trip had been delayed since Monday due to the immense capabilities of the large rocket to carry both people and cargo into space in the future. Elon Musk, the visionary founder of SpaceX, had tempered expectations before the launch. The mission had no passengers on board and aimed to verify the soundness of the rocket system's design. Mr. Musk emphasized that achieving success with Starship on this test flight might require multiple attempts. However, the rocket flew for an impressive four minutes and reached a considerable distance from the launch pad, achieving several notable milestones for the project. Thanks to the wealth of data gathered during this brief flight, engineers now better understand the vehicle's behavior. According to Daniel Dumbacher, executive director of the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics and a former senior NASA official, the recent incident with the Starship rocket could be seen as a learning experience rather than a failure. However, the flight didn't achieve all its objectives. The plan was for the Starship spacecraft to reach a higher altitude of approximately 150 miles and then splash down in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii about 90 minutes later. It remains to be seen how the outcome of this flight will impact NASA's plans, which optimistically aim for the first moon landings of astronauts aboard Starship to occur by late 2025. Elon Musk's ambition to send humans to Mars Mars, requiring the transportation of large quantities of supplies, was a driving force behind SpaceX's development of Starship. While many focus on these grand goals, others see potential in more localized applications. Starships could transport massive space telescopes to explore our universe or flights of robots for planetary exploration, as their size and reusability would significantly reduce the cost of delivering objects to orbit. Some are even designing larger, more cost-effective satellites by eliminating the need for expensive components currently constrained by size and weight restrictions imposed by existing rockets. Phil Larson, a former space consultant for the Obama administration's White House and later part of SpaceX's communications department, believes that flying and reusing rockets can revolutionize orbital transportation and open up new missions. Despite this setback, SpaceX remains at the forefront of commercial spaceflight as evidenced by their recent successful launch on Wednesday, marking their 25th rocket launch in 2023. On Thursday morning, the countdown for the launch in South Texas proceeded smoothly until the final 30 seconds when a brief pause was required to address a technical issue, followed by cheers from the SpaceX staff at the California facility. The rocket ascended while a plume of exhaust billowed around it. Mr. Dunbacher expressed initial satisfaction, stating it looked really good and it looked really good for a while. However, SpaceX later confirmed that the rocket only reached an altitude 
altitude of approximately 24 miles over the Gulf of Mexico. Videos captured flashes as several of the 33 engines on the Super Heavy booster, the rocket's lower section, malfunctioned. The rocket began tumbling in a corkscrew pattern, overwhelming the guidance system's ability to correct it. On the company's live launch feed, SpaceX engineer John Insprocher acknowledged this does not appear to be a nominal situation. Four minutes into the flight, the autonomous flight termination system destroyed the rocket in a fiery end. Unfortunately, the upper stage Starship vehicle did not separate from the booster as intended. Although the launch didn't go as planned, it did fulfill SpaceX's commitment to an exciting spectacle and avoided the worst-case scenario of an explosion on the launch pad, which would have required extensive repairs. Mr. Musk took to Twitter to congratulate the team and mentioned how much they had learned in preparation for the next test launch. On the beach at South Padre Island, Carl Cray and his wife, who traveled from Colorado, were among those who witnessed the launch from a safe distance. Carl exclaimed, I'm so glad I've lived to see this. It was extremely dramatic and one of those experiences that everyone should have. Carlos Hortis, a 42-year-old stage technician from Los Angeles, stood on the sand wearing an Occupy Mars t-shirt he bought from SpaceX. He commented, until I found out it exploded, I thought it went okay. Even though it was a big possibility, I feel slightly disappointed. He expressed hope for successful launches in the near future. Developing heavy lift rockets like Starship is inherently complex and challenging, akin to building a large boat compared to an aircraft carrier. SpaceX is undertaking a technical feat that surpasses anything achieved in the past six decades of the space age. The expectation of making every component of the spaceship reusable with rapid relaunch capabilities within hours means that not achieving complete success on the inaugural attempt is not unexpected to experts. Mr. Dunbacher suggested that the reasons behind the engine issues would require investigation and resolution before the next launch. He expressed confidence in SpaceX's ability to overcome the challenges and eventually achieve orbit. SpaceX has a history of learning from mistakes and improving their systems quickly. Their guiding principle is to fail fast but learn faster. Similar to the approach of software startups in Silicon Valley. This differs from the traditional aerospace industry, which emphasizes comprehensive pre-flight prevention, often resulting in over-engineered designs. On the other hand, SpaceX starts with a minimum viable product and iteratively upgrades it. The initial attempts to land Falcon 9 boosters were met with crashes and explosions, but adjustments were made after each failure, leading to successful landings. The same iterative process was applied to perfect the landing method for Starship as prototypes underwent testing and adjustments before achieving a successful landing. Unlike its early days when the first three launches of the Falcon 1 rocket failed to reach orbit, SpaceX now enjoys a strong financial position as one of the most valuable privately held companies. Elon Musk managed to scrape together enough resources for a fourth launch attempt and the company's success has been evident ever since. While SpaceX occasionally faces initial failures. The luxury of learning through trial and error is not often afforded to larger NASA initiatives like the Space Launch System. Mr. Dunbacher explained that the government programs were not permitted to operate in the same way. Despite the day's outcome, those who witnessed the launch from the beach remained unfazed. As 34-year-old Lauren Posey remarked, if it hadn't exploded, wouldn't that have been awesome? Yeah, nevertheless, it was fantastic. After the flight test of Starships, SpaceX's future includes plans for another launch in a few months. However, the damage to the launch infrastructure at Starbase raises doubts about the timeline. Photographer Max Evans revealed the extent of the damage, suggesting a potential operational delay of up to a year. Engineer Jonathan Goff remains cautiously optimistic, estimating a delay of seven to nine months for a successful orbital flight due to necessary repairs. The Starship's maiden orbital voyage 
voyage will last around 90 minutes with a launch from Starbase, an eastward trajectory over the Gulf of Mexico and a landing near Hawaii. Booster 7 and Ship 24 will only be used for this flight as SpaceX aims for reusability. The flight will gather data to enhance Starship's performance and analyze entry dynamics within a challenging flight regime. So that's it for today's video. What do you think? Feel free to let us know in the comments section before. Oh, and before you go, please do take a moment to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more Elon Musk news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.